Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm in the right place, right? <laughs> um, I always have that little freak out moment like, where am I posting? Like, where? I think I'm in the right group or the right place. Um, I just wanted to share a few ideas with you guys today with these vintage. Um, so this morning I shared a reel that I made over on Instagram and then I always push those over into um, onto Facebook. But um, I thought I'd just share some other ideas uh, with these vintage small molds and I can, I'll kind of show you what I did with some of them. So I love picking up, um, are you serious? It's like the, a gray day. <laughs> First of all, can we talk about the crazy weather we're going to have here? It's 71 degrees outside. It's December, whatever. In Iowa, that is like unheard of. I just went outside and, to take Hilly out and um, this was almost too warm. But it's going to be like crazy windy. They're talking about tornadoes. Um, they're canceling some schools and some like uh, programs and things tonight. It's so crazy. And then tonight it's supposed to be 29. So welcome to the Iowa weather. Uh, so next week, I always feel like when it goes hot to cold, hot to cold, that's when everybody ends up with a cold or so, oh my goodness. But it's so amazing outside right now. It's seven, like 70s in December in Iowa. That is just um, unheard of. So I hope the weather's great where you are. I will be singing a different tune tomorrow when we're in the 20s. I'm not looking forward to that. But if you guys can see me and hear me, let me know. Uh, just let me know that you're here and that um, it's all working. So, okay. So first of all, I, I love these little molds. So like these little tin molds, you can find them at estate sales, yard sales, thrift stores. You can find them everywhere. And they're usually really inexpensive. Um, estate sales is a good place to look for them. So I really love... Like these look kind of newer, but then look at these. Like the, can you see the difference? Like these are the older ones, just like the patina is, I just, I love these. Um, but these all, whoops, came together kind of uh, in a thing. I think it was at a thrift store. I can't remember if that, or sale, I can't remember. But anyway, so the patina of these, I'm always like, and their shape and their, the detail, I always think you could do something with those. And then I also just found a bunch of these little, like, I don't know what these are. If you guys are here, tell me, are they tart molds? I mean, I don't know what these, were they made for Jello? I think somebody said these are made for Jello or something back in the day. I'm, I'm not sure. But I absolutely, again, the patina on these older ones, the shape, like there's so many things you can do with them. And I'm just going to show you a couple of things that I was doing with them. So first of all, uh, can you guys see what I'm doing here? Let me move this back. Oops, sorry. Don't want to make you dizzy. Um, okay, so first of all, I always have a big jar of beads and I just took apart. I did share my last, like two weeks ago, thrifting haul and I found a garland that had all these felt balls. I just threw them in here for now. But whenever I find wood beads, uh, here's like wood... Uh, spools. Why does that not sound right? Just, I always, I have a big jar of these. I actually have two jars of these. So I always look for them at thrift stores because you can use them for so many things. So these star ones, obviously you can paint these, spray paint them. Um, I'm going to show you how they take like the rub and buff. I love having that on hand for everything. So um, obviously you can use them this way. So you could do something inside here, like paint with chalkboard paint or just black paint and then a white marker. You could write all kinds of things in here. Um, I mean, there's just so many things you can do, but I really like the look of this just to keep them silver and then to make like a garland um, out of them. So all I'm using, I swear, I found this at a, th or maybe it was an estate sale. This floral wire, I'm gonna be so, I'm gonna have to get more of this, but I use this stuff for everything. So all I did was I just drilled um, two holes right in the top of the stars. And then as I was threading them through just with this wire, I was trying to figure out how many, how many beads I needed between the two so that they weren't like overlapping or they weren't touching. So I needed five of this size bead. Um, so super simple. Like these are the kinds of things you can do while you're watching your favorite Christmas movies. 
Um, my mom used to have us. I think I've shared that here before. We used to string popcorn. Anybody else used to string popcorn? The good old days. Um, but we used to sit down with, my mom used to make homemade popcorn. And when I say homemade, I mean she made it on the stove with just like popcorn kernels. That is one thing I've never learned how to do. There is a definite art to doing that. And if you can do that, that's like a superpower that I want to have. My mom can do it like a, my mom just loves popcorn, always has. Um, and so she would make this big, just over the stove. I always burn it. Like you have to put the lid on at a certain time and shake it the whole time. And no, it doesn't happen for me. So, but anyway, I just remember sitting down and sticking myself with that needle over and over and over again, but you still sat there and like, <laughs> strung the popcorn on the, the strings to go around the Christmas tree. Um, but yeah, super simple. So just think, uh, and this I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight of these tins. Um, I'm just gonna do a couple more here just cause I wanna get it done. Um, but yeah, so I, I just remember doing that. This, these are things that you can do, the entire family can do. I posted the other day that this, I kind of miss, I not kind of, I do miss when the kids were smaller and we could, our advent calendars, um, I've done the ones where you get a little toy or something or a little treat inside. And then, um, and then the kids got to the age where I thought, let's just plan something different every night. So we're gonna make hot cocoa tonight or we're gonna make frost cookies tonight or whatever it was. Um, and it's just when the kids get older, they, um, I'm just going to keep going this way, actually. It just gets harder and harder. And it's our busiest season with volleyball and basketball right now. So it's just, and Christmas is already next week, which is just crazy to me. So we haven't done a lot of that, but hoping to fit that in over, over the next week. Some of those traditions that we've always done. If I can grab some of these, it would go. So yeah, so this is what I'm doing. And I, you could definitely stain these beads, paint these beads. Um, obviously, and there's like, I have like this color, you know, wood beads. I have different like stained wood beads in there as well. So anyway, easy peasy, really cute, really minimal. I love that. I love that look. It's not too fussy. So I will finish that. Okay, I was thinking, uh oh, I have to cut it at some point to get do these other things. So same kind of idea for these. So obviously you can use these any old which way, but um, I thought I would show you. I did put Robin Buff, another, another um, product you should all have on hand. You should all have that on hand. I bought the um, one, two, three, four, five, the five different color kits, the five different... Yeah, there were five in there, the different colors. Um, so you could definitely, this, I, I put rub and buff on this one, super simple, just use an old rag. You could use an old paintbrush and just rub it in and let, let it sit for a while. Um, but then you can obviously have different colors. I liked the metal kind of brassy goldish color. And then uh, I drilled a hole in the top of these. These would be really pretty. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to find a bunch of these because I wanted to put Christmas lights in them and then kind of make a garland or a strand of Christmas lights that came out. You know what I mean? Like you would drill a bigger hole and then the Christmas lights would come in and then you'd have the strand of Christmas lights, but I just couldn't find any this shape. I mean, I would have been fine mixing and matching these two shapes, but I only found one, two, three, four this season. So if I find more over time, I think I would like to do that and just leave them, especially if I could find these, this like kind of older aluminum patina and then just white Christmas lights inside. You could actually add some, um, always look for Christmas greenery, garland, wreaths, anything. You can take it apart. This is some, um, I think it was a stem. I think they're stems that I found just recently at a thrift store. And so you can always take them apart. So you could, this is a bad example, but um, you know, with the Christmas lights, you could add just on the top of here, just this simple, a darker green would be prettier, but just some greenery or something. Hello, sunshine <laughs> up on the top with the lights in there. But anyway, that was my initial plan, but I couldn't find enough. So 
Um, another idea is, again, you're gonna take some of this floral wire and you kind of wanna, depending on what you're gonna put on top, um, how many beads or how tall you want it, you're going to, whoops, you're gonna fold it over. So let me see, show you. So it's this like this, and then you're gonna fold it in half. I need my sunglasses on. <laughs> It's pretty cloudy though, so we, there we go. Now it's going under the clouds. And so then you just wanna fold it over so you kind of have this hook um, up at the top. So you're doing this for two reasons. The Where it's folded here, this you can hang then on your Christmas tree and then down here you can open them and twist them so they will hold inside your, inside your little ornament thing. So what I do is I just thread these two ends. Again, I drilled a small hole in here just for just for wire. Just I just wanted this wire to go through. And then you're just gonna kind of bend it so that it doesn't come through. Twist it around and just bend it inside there. I think there are people here. Yay, okay. Did somebody say something? Because I feel like now I can see things. No, I just see people. Okay, and so obviously you can use anything again. You could use, you could put felt balls through on here, but I love the wood beads, um, different sizes, different shapes. And so again, just the simple, I'm just, oh my gosh, that one doesn't have a, I have just wood balls in here too. I keep picking up the same one that doesn't have it all the way through. Hang on one second. Let me just grab one of these so you can get the idea. So then different sizes. Um, you could even use these wood. This would be really cute. So if you had some of these wood spools, put washi tape around here, like in different Christmas colors. Um, I'm actually going to switch these. Um, obviously, you can paint them. But, um, but that would be really cute too, just to add some... You could do a metallic color, you could paint them, you know, all the, that. But I'm just gonna show you here. I think that ball was a little too big. Let's just do one more. I do have tinier ones in here. Oh, we'll just use the same size. So obviously any size you want, right? Like this. So then this, I, I was curving them this way just for a hook like that. And then you can hang these on your tree. You can embellish these, you can do, I just love the simple look. Same thing, if you know, if you painted these, use the rub and buff, it really worked well. It's not, people ask, it's not rubbing off. It did, when I put it on, um, and I was just trying to get it covered, so I used a brush. I just have an old little brush inside my bag here. So I was just using the brush just to try to get it on. And then I did grab a cloth, and it kind of, let me see if you can see this. It kind of rubbed it off in some areas, but I love that. <laughs> I love that. So um, same idea. So, oh, that one was too small. Can you guys hear that? I don't think the wind is that bad yet, but it sounds like a big, I don't know what that is. So anyway, again, same thing. Um, and then just put whatever whatever you want on the top, but just in a different color. So these kinds of things, I love picking them up because of their shape, their detail, their patina. So when you're shopping at thrift stores and things, think beyond, oh, those are old tarts or, or old uh, molds or old. I mean, if you love the the shape, the, the, um, the detail on something, the, you can make it into other things. Um, just think outside the box. So that's just an idea with that. So this one is, I shared this this morning, so easy to do. I have some other tarp. If you are on, check the um, check back, and it should be this morning that I shared the video. But I had some other ones, they don't, they're flatter than this. <laughs> And then they have more of an opening or like a thing that you can set in here. I only found two, but they were the perfect size for these little candles. So you can see what those look like in that video. So I, I have those in the other room, so I'm not going to go grab them. I forgot to grab them for this video. But um, what I'm going to do for this is 
I love picking up um, candles at the thrift store. And these were, they're this size. They're just like perfect for little crafts and projects like this. I, I found some other ones. Look, what's really funny is I've been starting to pick these up and um, I'm sorry, you guys, that is like blinding me. Um, I started to pick these up and now I feel like the thrift stores are, the prices are crazy on candles. It's like, what is even happening? So anyway, so if you can find them for inexpensive, pick them up. They're so pretty just sitting in like some iron stone or a vase. Um, if I find some really pretty colored ones and they're inexpensive, I always grab them. Um, I don't have a lot of candles like lit in our house, but uh, like all the brass candlesticks and stuff we have, they're just so pretty inside there. So anyway, so this is super simple. So these little, again, the patina is what I love on these. They're just the older looking ones. And so obviously all you need is just a, uh, a lighter and you're going to, can you guys see how it's dripping down kind of in my, my little pan here? And then you're just gonna hold it here until it dries. And I swear, are there, is there something, like, can you buy these, something that looks like this and they have a clip on the bottom and you can put them in your tree or something like this in the old days, did they have something like this where there was, right? Sil something silver and it's like you would put I mean who I mean back in the day you not real candles right I mean I think you did and then it would hold the it, do you guys know what I'm talking about <laughs> I'm totally making sense up here but it's not coming out right and it would there was like a candle in it and then it would like it was like a silvery thing or something maybe it was gold and it would catch the like the wax same kind of deal um but I actually like these would be really pretty. Again, you could put some faux greenery inside here. I didn't with the ones I made, uh, the ones I made uh, for the video. And then I just set this on top of some um, wood slices. Uh, I just, cause I needed it taller with the other two I made. Check that video out. Cause you'll see what I'm talking about. The other tart, they're, I don't know if they're tart pans, but they're like many things like this that are different. Kind of look like this, but they're flatter. Um, so I just, I, I just set them on there and then I put some greenery that I literally cut from a, I don't know, probably like a garland or something. I just kind of set that around with brass candlesticks and then it just kind of gives you that simple, like old world, old look for Christmas. And this is the kind of stuff somebody was asking me about how to decorate for winter. So after the holidays, you want to decorate for winter because it's just so dreary and it's so dark and it's it's so dark so early and it's not light till later so these kinds of things are perfect with some greenery some pine cones stuff like that that you can do for Christmas but then actually keep out all winter so I'm hoping to share some more ideas for that uh, after we're kind of putting Christmas stuff away and how you can still use that Christmas stuff or different stuff for the holiday or not for the holidays for the winter after the holiday stuff is all put away Angela, I am excited you are here too. I am excited you are here. Hello, Constance. Okay, I'm, I can see you guys now. Tart tins, Lisa, yes. Make it, whoops, make a tree out of the rounder ones. Put, put one of the stars on the top with a family picture in it. Yes, yeah, so you could definitely put pictures or whatever inside here. I think you mean, did you mean these? Make a tree with them? Yes, if these would, well, these are the same size. So I don't know if you mean like to kind of put them all the way up and then put the, the stars are kind of bigger, but that was, that's a good idea. Yeah, share your ideas on here. This is what I love about social media and this community that we're building. Like your ideas, share them, share them with everybody. Um, if you see something else or like when I take you guys thrifting or, you know, shout out your ideas or what you're seeing or what, you know, all those kinds. My grandmother used to make popcorn on the stove and it was so amazing. Never... Same, D, same. I don't know what that magic is, but my mom has it too. Oh my gosh, the one time I did it, it was at like growing up, I was probably a teenager and I am like, it was it was the worst. The smell burnt the whole, like I think the pan had to go in the garbage. It was not a good experience. And then when you watch, when I watch my mom do it, she's just like, oh, do you just shake it here? And 
you know, let it sit for a while. And I'm like, I think I let mine sit for too long. What's a while? Like how long? Because it just, it's just second nature. Um, make them into bells. Yes, you definitely could make these into bells. Speaking of bells, did you guys see the uh, bells I made out of the light globes? Again, I shared that video. There were a couple of white, you know what I mean by light globes. They're like the, the globe part of a light. Um, they were at Restore and they just sitting on the shelf, they looked kind of like a bell to me. So I'm like, okay, now let's make these into bells. And I actually found some curtain finials. That's what you call them, right? Like the ends of curtain rods at Restore as well. There was a package of two. Sometimes it just works out. And, um, and yeah, so I spray painted those and I made them into bells. Those are also, you should be able to find those. That video was put up a couple days ago this week, but really cute, super easy. They look really great. Um, and you could do them with so many different of those. Why does globes not sound right either? Globes, I think round, but um, like this, sh not shades, but the glass part of like light fixtures. And they have tons of those at Restore for like under a dollar. So check those out for sure, because that was such an easy project. My mom always made popcorn. Now my daughter does just like a Grammy. That's what we call my mom, Grammy. Yep. Well, your daughter got that. I wish I could just learn how to do that. Oh my goodness. Hello, Diane in Kentucky. Kentucky, or did you get, that's where the tornadoes were, right? We're supposed to have huge winds and they're saying tornadoes, which is, maybe it was, I thought it was. Um, yes, maybe you could glue an alligator clip onto them and clip to a tree, Gail said. Definitely, you definitely could. Definitely. And I've never heard of an alligator clip. Maybe, I, but I know what they are, but I've never heard them um, called alligator clips. Good morning. 36 degrees in California. Is that unheard of? That's crazy. Snowmen are great. Yes. Snowmen for all winter. Yes. First time here from Cape. Is it Breton? I just bought a big bunch of those at the thrift store. Oh my gosh. Yay. Which ones did you get? Did you get these? The stars? or these um check out my other videos uh, that are on here on the page when you when you leave here and it'll give you some other ideas kim from kentucky hello kentucky again yes terrible western kentucky Her, oh my gosh like it was we were my was at my parents the other day and after that had happened and we were talking about the derecho that we had here and she's like i just i mean that was such devastation here and you know until you go through it you're just like like you just you can't imagine it. And, and then we were like, but it seems like that Western Kentucky that it, it's just it was like 10 times worse. But you know, when you're going, it, it was 10 times worse here. And then to have, you just know now like what that was like, it's just heartbreaking. Yes. Okay. Lottie, you found the, the little tart pans. Yes. I, you guys, these are so good for so many things. You could definitely do, um, you know, like lights in here too as well and make kind of like a, a light garland. Hello, Marty from Spokane, Washington. Okay. Okay, I am going to continue. I think I got through everything. Do you guys have any questions, ideas, popcorn, um, popcorn tricks so you can make popcorn on the stove top? I don't know. I, there is, there is, there is a trick to it. <laughs> I just could not figure that out ever. So I just always, for anybody coming on right now, I'm just showing, I love picking up these little mini uh, tart pans, um, molds, whatever you want to call them. And so there's so many different things you can do with them. So I was just showing, uh, some different ways to upcycle and re reuse these when you find them. Um, and I have other videos that I put up today inside on the page so that you can see the other ideas that I had for some different ones that I found. But, okay, I'm gonna get five more of these out. And if you're on Instagram, uh, I am launching new items on the shop page. 
Uh, so I have some cool vintage Christmas stuff and some other vintage items that will be on the shop at noon CST. And that is just at my creative day shop on Instagram. Um, so I would love to have you over there. It's always fun to um, see new people over there. So yeah, so this is the garland I'm making just with the stars and some wood beads, always some wood beads, <laughs> just because they're easy and I always have a bunch on hand. So, um, so yeah, if you make any of these, I would love to see it. Post a photo here or on Instagram, tag me so I can see them. You guys, a lot of you will DM me. Um, I have the hot glue gun on for some reason. I can't remember what I was using that for. You guys will DM me your pictures. Uh, so I love seeing it when you guys try something that you've seen here. Um, oh my, Gail, that's a great idea. Make them red, white, and blue for the 4th of July. Exactly. So, and it's not just Christmas time, but these kinds of things, when I find them and they're inexpensive, I always know I'll come up with some idea. Perfect for 4th of July too. Perfect for that. Um, so yeah, so if you make anything, I'd love to see it. So tag me wherever you're posting. You can always send me, you can DM me too as well. Um, but I do love to see it. Sprinkle this video, because share this video if you enjoy it. I don't know why that word, you can't really, you're not supposed to say it or something, but um, I would love for you to share it. Uh, I love, thanks for being here, guys. I appreciate you. It's so much fun coming on and sharing different ideas and and things that we're coming up with all the time. So I appreciate you. I hope your holiday season is going well so far. It's here already next week. 70 degrees in Iowa it still doesn't feel like Christmas, but I think tomorrow it will. Tomorrow it's going to be a lot cooler. So I'm not looking forward to it. So, okay, I'm going to hop off and finish this and I will talk to you guys soon.